Good morning, Cohort 2. I hope you're doing well this morning on the uh, second week of our cohort. I hope that um, you have had a somewhat relaxing uh, break this past weekend. Um, I just wanted to reach out to you and do another one of these wonderful little touch bases that we do each week. And uh, in specific this week, I want to talk about some fun ways that you can leave feedback. And I also want to talk about um, uh, essentially uh, keeping up where you've been, all that good stuff. So I want to start by saying, um, wow, uh, love some of your module one uh, journals. Uh, pretty darn reflective. So um, for the feedback, you'll notice in module one that we use a rubric. A rubric is a really good way to communicate to students, you know, what how they did because you're pre-building in all the criterion. It cuts down the need for you to having to provide as much uh, feedback because you're spelling it out for them in the criterion. So um, I would highly suggest using a rubric when you do grade uh, in different activities throughout your course because it just makes grading easier and it may it makes providing that feedback easier as well. And I'm always on board for that. Um, in some of the journal entries, I actually provided you an extra little bit of feedback and I'll show you what I did. I gave you a seal of approval. Arp, 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 arp. Anyway, that was, there's my dad joke. But I have found it fun um, uh, and also just uh, changing it up a little to provide a little uh, meme-tacular feedback, right? Using a meme in a discussion reply or a journal feedback or some kind of a post, right? You'll see in further discussions uh, in, the, in our uh, cohort that I'll use another one as well. But I like the idea of doing it because it changes it up. It makes it a little bit more engaging for the students. It makes them think a little differently besides just the, your, your normal, your regular, you know, um, back and forth about textual feedback. There are other types that I'll show you in a little bit that you can do as well. Um, specific to where we're going to be going in this next module. Okay, so now I've talked about that. I want to take a look at, if you don't mind, our um, syllabus because we need to talk about some things. So first, uh, obviously, this is kind of a fast and hectic five weeks that we're together, right? We, we mow through these, these, these modules. Our cadence for our due dates are Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, you'll note, if I were to scroll down to the schedule, that our start here stuff uh, was was due last Thursday and the module one was due last Sunday, the 22nd, right? Uh, now keep in mind, I am not taking away your birthday if you're late, so don't panic there. Uh, you'll, for some of you know that I did send out an email touching base with those of you that hadn't actually even turned in an activity for start here yet. It's really easy to do that in Ultra. Ultra makes it so much easier to reach out to those students that are falling behind because it's just a matter of a couple of check boxes and send a message. And it just, from my standpoint, it makes it a little easier to do. But anyway, so for this Thursday, this Thursday, we have module two. And I'm gonna see if I need to go, no, okay. So module two dates for this Thursday, we have the self-assessment workbook, the course outline, and the complete module check-in. Uh, obviously, two real activities, one just to answering a quick that you did the thing and submitting it in. Woohoo! Easy breezy, right? Sunday's got a couple more. It's a little bit more involved because we start talking about the elements of design, uh, the way that universal design for learning works within the confines of courses and how, how, you can, how font sizes matter, how colors matter, how images, uh, how they need to be placed. But anyway, so that one is due on Sunday. Um, but what I will say is on this module two um, for your stuff that's due this Thursday, I'm going to be providing you with some video feedback. So I would like for you to make sure that you interact with um, uh, the module two uh, grade so that you can see the, the video feedback we provide. Now, I am going to show you in a different way how that feedback works because I'm not going to be grading anything because I don't want to show anybody's... Um, uh, grades in this course? Actually, you know what I can show you? I can show you in another course. So what I will do is I'm going to close this window and close that course window and I'm going to go to my healthy eating course and then to my grade book and it looks like I've got something that I need to grade. I've got a uh, 
I've got a grade here. So I'm going to go to any one of these. Um, and we, we can say I'm looking at somebody else's. So let's say, uh, uh, wah, 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 wah. oh, you know what? This was a fake column, not a real column. Let me find one. Just one second. Bear with me. All right, here's one. So here's a journal that um, that I would need to grade from you, for instance. But in this case, this is going to be your self-assessment workbook for um, for uh, the assignment for module two. So ignore this journal because that's not what it is. But what I wanted to show you is in the act of leaving feedback, I can be a little bit more engaging. I can do more than just provide text. In this regard, I can provide video or audio feedback to you, the student, and that's what I'm going to be doing for module two. So I'm going to go to my little feedback box for my student and use this little insert content drop down menu and then choose recording. Now, what recording will do is it will allow me to leverage recording my video and, and voice or just my voice. So I will click on that and it will actually prompt up the inherent recording feature inside um, Blackboard for this. Now down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's a, a recording button and a camera button. Where I to turn the camera button on, um, it will do its little thing and you'll actually see me now with my green screen behind me that you don't see because this doesn't leverage green screen. So anyway, uh, ignore the green screen, pretend it's not there. <laughs> that being said, uh, what I can do now is when I'm ready, I can hit the start recording button. Now, it's gonna count down for me. I always recommend if you're gonna use this feature, start to smile before the countdown gets to one. That way you don't start your video out looking like, you know, fun stuff like that. So here we go. Hey, great job, Elliot, on your journal entry. I really found it reflective. I especially love the picture that you used at the top to signify the meal. So I really thought you put a lot of effort into this activity, very personalizing, a good contextual um, reference that you provided around the, uh, uh, the shape of how the meal flowed. And so really, really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. So I then just hit stop. And now I can choose to play the recording, see how it looked, delete the recording, or save and exit. If I delete the recording, I can just start again. So once I hit save and exit, it pops that recording straight into here. Now uh, I can hit save and then make sure there's a grade and Elliot can just go to his feedback and play this video, right? He can play that video simply by clicking on it. So I can too, as a matter of fact, but I'm not going to. Uh, that being said, isn't that pretty cool? So that's a fun way that you can do engagement in your course. Now, there's another place that that can happen. You'll note that I'm providing these Tuesday tune-ins using a little bit of a fancy software, and that's okay, but you don't have to do that. You could just use Kaltura to do your tune-in, right? Or you could do um, a YouTube video. Uh, in this case, you can also, and I'm gonna go back to um, our course, go to announcements and add a new announcement. You can also do the same thing we could in the gradebook, and that is adding a recording. The great thing about these recordings that I'm putting in the gradebook, as well as if I just did this recording feature here in this announcement, uh, is that it provides closed captions automatically. It might take a couple minutes for them to show up, but bam, you're already closed captioned. So that is nice. Um, keep in mind, using this feature, you're just limited to just doing a webcam capture or an audio capture. If you wanna do more of the screen capture, you can do things like I'm doing, rather using a, an out of the box software like OBS that I then upload to YouTube or using Kaltura to capture your screen and, and, and other things. Those are all options for you, right? Um, but in this case, uh, in announcements, you're definitely gonna want to um, uh, uh, go with the, if you do record something, put it in YouTube. I'm just gonna tell you right now, you can't quite embed a Kaltura video here in announcements because of the way announcements work. But uh, that's just the way that happens. But here you could, you could do a quick video and, um, uh, or audio recording. If I did want to share my screen, I'd probably upload something to YouTube. Uh, that way I can still embed it here in the announcement. The announcements feature is kind of weird in that regard because it's not exactly in the course, it sends an email, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that's a fun way to be a little bit more engaging with your announcements. 
I hope um, you found both of those um, both of those things cool that you can leave an audio or video feedback directly to your student. Uh, I hope you noticed that in module one on your self-assessment workbook, we did a little bit of annotation. All we did was put a check mark on your assignment, but and then we gave you some feedback as well. But I want you to know that you're not limited to just giving the feedback inside that assignment, right? I can provide feedback right on the assignment, whether, whether they be comments or highlights or, or images or stamps. I can do them right on the assignment. So I can provide that little extra point to this thing right here specifically on this paper that you submitted to me uh, inside Blackboard. So notice that in the Module 1 Self-Assessment Workbook. I hope you're doing well. Remember, Module 2 is due this Thursday. Module 3 is due on Sunday. As always, you can catch up if you haven't completed Start Here or Module 1 yet. No worries there. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to continuing to learn from you as you make your way through the program.